push some guy on a bus just to get off the freaking vehicle just to make it to work on time. You just had to step outside your door and, you know, plow the field or something like that. You can still plow the field in the city. Oh, oh you mean, okay. Ah, uh, damn. I've fallen in love before. I say it again. She wanted to let me know where she'd gone to bed. To the night surprise. We're gonna watch the sunrise. I wanted to watch you fall away again. We're here at Castello di Amorosa in Calistoga, California, and we're gonna go take a tour of the castle. It's not a real castle, it was built 10 years ago <laughs> by a very rich man, but it looks pretty good. I like the way this one walks back here. Oh yeah. There's no turning back. <laughs> this castle. 100,000 square feet. Eight floors. Four above, four below. You guys make it out here very often? Torture chamber, dungeon. Who's gonna sit with the rest of the nobility? Hell no! I don't care who I have to knock off. That's mine. are being invaded. Once the grapes are harvested, we then send it through this first machine out here on the right. So that's just called the de-stemmer. So that's exactly what it says. It does it just removes the stem cell grapes. This is where they store the heads of all their rivals. Exactly, yes. <laughs> One from each different ABA. <laughs> so 16 different ABAs just means we have 16 different soil and climate types alone in Napa County, making us one of the best wine growing regions in the world. So just like we are what we eat, grapes are what they drink. So you can plant a Cabernet in two different areas, but they're going to taste different because they're picking up the characteristics from the soil type that they are in. You let it go, don't let it stay. You let it go, oh, oh, oh. You let it go, don't let it stay. You and I will watch the Feel free to come on in, sit on a barrel if you'd like. They're pretty comfortable. Just don't take the bung out or put Halloween event, I can totally imagine them sticking somebody inside a suit of armor and having them stand there and having them come to life. Can you imagine that? Pivoting. <laughs> also, hold on to your sunglasses. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's not good. That was not there two hours ago. <laughs> the struggle is real. <laughs> If that's not bad enough, notice how it is made out of iron, okay? Hence the name Iron Maiden. So they heat up the iron so it would cauterize the wound so you'd stay alive even longer. Over here we have the crow's nest. So this wouldn't be the dungeon, this would be out for the public to see. So if you stole something, they'd throw you in here and you'd starve to death. 
The reason it's called the crow's nest is because they would start flopping over. They were in charge of cleaning up the corpses. So this one's called the rack. So your hands go here, your feet go here, and your back goes on here, and they crank that wheel, stretching you further and further. So this is what's called the Judas spike. This is for adulterers. So they hang you from up here, legs spread apart, and drop you down. Yeah. So don't go cheating, guys. We should use that to be safe. <laughs> This is the hot seat, so this is where that phrase stems from. So what you do is you sit down here, they strap you down and light a fire underneath you so you confess whatever you may or may not have done. So ever again with the phrase, what does it kill you makes it stronger? Clearly do not live in the medieval ages. Huh. If anyone's brave enough, has thick enough jeans, you can actually sit on it. I've sat on it a few times, I'm still alive today. Could be your own personal Iron Throne for Game of Thrones fans. <laughs> Not everyone at once. So we've got a prisoner shack in the back. It actually has really high ceilings. You just dust it on the bed. You will fall through. It's happened three times already, okay? It could be worse. This is like my freshman year dorm room. Try the adulterer thing. <laughs> so Cabernet is a four-year product, okay? So two years in a barrel, two years in a bottle. So since we're gonna be trying our 2013 upstairs later, that means this wine won't even hit our tasting room until at least 2020. So we're just trying about three years early. Trump second term. So this is the grand barrel room. As you can see, it beautifully displays the arches that we saw in the other room. It's about 12,000 square feet alone in here. So it's crazy. Every single brick has to be in its exact spot to the center meeting point. Otherwise, it throws off the balance of the entire room. So we actually had to start this room over at one point because it was off balance. Okay, we're standing under this like arch. I'm gonna see if I can hear Steve from the other side. Oh my god, I can hear you. That's so weird. Can you hear me, right? Yeah, can you hear me properly? Can you hear me properly? Yeah, I can hear you. That's so weird. It's fine. What is that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll try. Uh, yes. It's okay. All right, I know it well. <laughs> That's the feeling of having bought the brown ticket. <laughs> Can you get Il Brigante? <laughs> My wife is five months Brigante. <laughs> so now we're turning on wine tasting. Some the breadsticks there. Which one are you getting? Joya and you. Give us to Mina. <laughs> Obviously. What are you having again, Stephen? Give us Jamina. Wunderbar. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it's good. It's not too powerful. Tiny bit spicy and really fruity on the back end. It's just it's nice. So is this again? This is the We'll be getting one. You what? We'll be getting one of those. And which one do we like better out of those two? I think she likes the Castellano. I was pretty divided. Oh, nice! Yeah, Brigante is a little bit softer, but I like those big, dry, red wines, so I'm a little bit partial to the Tuscans, for sure. We got the Il Pasito. So this is a Semillon Sauvignon Blanc blend. This one you can sell up to 30 years. Let's say one day you open it, you don't finish it, you leave it open in your fridge for a month. So super high quality wine with this one. So it's going to be butterscotch, apricot, and honey. It's won Best in Show four years in a row at the American I think I know what your dessert wine is going to be. Which? The Gvastramina. No? Gvastramina. So no? nice, I'll try it twice. Really? Oh yeah, I'm going to try it a second time. And then my extra pour, I'm going to do Il Pasito. Liquid gold. Look at that shit. Best in show for four years. Il Pasito. What is that, by the way? That is a mug.
I'm gonna get my last round of champagne and we're gonna try this out. And we're done. And we're done. Then Behringer. Then Behringer. I didn't even know we got the reserve tickets. So I don't know. No, he did well. What did she say? Chocolate wine, chocolate? Is that what she chocolate, said? Chocolate wine, chocolate. Alright, this is Try Delta Cito. Liquid gold. Here we go. Alright, man. Yeah. Chocolate. Take another oh, plate. chocolate. I got some. Shit. Sandwich that. Sandwich that. <laughs> Pretty good. Can I ask her what the chocolate is? I'm gonna find out what the chocolate is. Okay, Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thanks so much. Here's a little sheet with our ratings for the wine. A lot of high scores. We're gonna get two. Which one are we getting? Steven, why shot? The Bistrometer. Why shot? We're getting the. Um, and we're getting the Jimmy Gray. How'd you rate it? Castello di Amorosa. You enjoyed it? Yeah. I had fun. Welcome to Beringer. Where are we now, Stephen? We're at Beringer. Beringer Vineyards, 1876. Oh damn, I got it right. Anyone else have an 1876? You got a life? Damn. The events of The Last Samurai. I think... Maybe, I don't know. Are we recreating that Instagram couple thing? Instagram star, right? That's what he does, right? <laughs> she does it to him, and it's romantic! <laughs> this is just rude! <laughs> Family money. <laughs> also that Behringer money. Ask me that a was nice too. I think like you know, it's two very different experiences we just had. Like one was like very chill and like So yeah. So this place makes eight million casks or eight million bottles or something. What was some eight million something or others every year? <laughs> whatever the hell the vol unit of volume is. And Castello di Amorosa makes I think like a hundred thousand. So two very different wineries. I have to say though, Castello di Amorosa. I was pretty happy with that. I was yeah. pretty impressed with what they had to offer. Like, that's why I bought those bottles. I don't usually buy wine when I go wine tasting. I was actually pretty impressed that Sangiovese was good. So now we're gonna go like just chill out, check in our Airbnb and have some dinner, right? Well, yeah, and then tomorrow morning, Alpha Omega. They make great wine. I'll probably buy a bottle. And uh, then we're going to Sausalito. You take care of planning for now, but I'm gonna take care of planning for Sausalito. Very romantic there. All right.